Did you set up the ironing board as I asked? I'm writing it down, Preston. Hold on. Sign the person on the sink. Please set up the ironing board. I don't mean the sink. Just explain the part where the white board is a key prime. Writing it down, Preston. Isn't that your sister? I'll call you later. It's spring. It's beautiful. Is that you here? Mm -hmm. The bus is crowded tonight. This is such a warm dress, I can hardly breathe. You need a new spring dress. We'll have to settle for sandwiches tonight. I don't mind. Are we generous? What do you care? You're going out. Look, this suit is awfully smart. Mentados always has such nice suits. Ninety dollars isn't too much for a good suit, do you think? No, I don't think it's too much. But I don't really want a suit. I'd much rather have a sort of a sky blue dress that shows off my shoulders a little bit. I don't look good in suits. I'm not old enough. You could wear it to work. Mother, do you think he shaves often enough? You're not too young for a suit. How often do you shave? Every three days. Try it every other day. I feel sorry for the man who marries you. Everybody thinks you're sweet and you're not. I got it. Hello? Yes, it is. Why, yes, she is, Mr. Brewster. Could you wait one moment while I get her? Thank you. It's Sonny Brewster. Hello, Sonny. What a lovely surprise. Oh, I can't tonight. I fly ball to short center field. Do be moving in under it. Waiting. Takes it, and good miss out. One away. Bottom of the first. Red Sox trailing the Indians. One to nothing. Johnny Pesky, Red Sox third baseman up next. Pesky hitting 267 for the season. In a bit of a slump of late, only two hits in his last 17 at bat. Pesky steps into the batter's box and gets some dirt off the display. Who is that, Sonny Brewster? That was Walter Prentice. Your sister and Mr. Brewster only met yesterday evening. She was out with that Howard last night. They were with a large party at the supper club. Mr. Brewster apparently found her interesting and has invited her to the country club dance. His father is M.F. Brewster, the banker. Rich? We were rich. Your father was a very trusting man. The only thing I miss about our old house is the pond, with our own goldfish in it. The goldfish. You should try to look neater. I'm sure girls don't like boys with fuzz on their chin. Come and eat. You must be famished. Appreciate relativity? Do you realize it affects every little detail of everyday life? I'm not popular. I'm too gloomy. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. I'm a virgin. That has a lot to do with it. You may not be popular, but you're likable. Your trouble is you're a snob. 
Is that me? Wow, almost. <sighs> They're almost naked and they don't even know it. They know it. That's what makes it the original set. Sex is very complicated. It starts when you're a baby and lasts forever. And saints don't have to worry about it. Like hell they don't. Aren't they nice? Aren't they wonderful? They're beautiful. Beautiful? Tell me, what does beautiful mean? It's... It's something you want. You're an aesthete. I'm a scientist. That's the difference. Dodie? It's Sunday Brewster. I wanted to confirm when he was picking me up. I was good looking. We were rich. You have no idea what it was like. I had it all. If I had died when I was 30, I would have died completely happy. Sorry, Frank. I'm washing my hair tomorrow. All right. Back. We're washing your hair tonight. Mother Frank Parsons. Two weeks ago, brown socks. I have to call Preston right now. You left the radio on. Oh, Eddie Bennett is such a smooth dancer. You know, his mother is a Robinson. Her great-grandfather was C.J. Robinson. Oh, the Bennets did very well during the war. He and Sonny Brewster were away at school together. There was this boy at one of my school dances. He was visiting, and I was so determined to have him notice me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ones who notice you when you don't even mean it are awful. <gasps> oh, remember Dudley... What was his name? Dudley... Dudley Muller! Muller! <laughs> <laughs> Girls have to be very careful. You never broke a date. I tried not to. It's good to accept even if you don't like the boy. You never know who you might meet on a date. Sonny Brewster. <laughs> but don't flirt with someone else when you're out. No, it wasn't anything like that. People talk. I know what I'm saying. It's so important to make sure the boy doesn't misunderstand. Misunderstand what? You want to show someone that you like him, like being with him. I know. But now listen to me. It's even more important not to provoke. Mother, I... I know what I'm saying. It happened so suddenly only because a girl wants to express affection. I don't know why you're saying this. It takes so little for a situation to get out of control. And when you try to stop it, it embarrasses the young man. Mother, I behave very well. Better than other girls I know. Well, only good-looking girls can afford to be good. <laughs> We're going to be late for practice. We'll be there in a minute. You know what they prefer. You should be waiting for him. I don't see why you want him to like you. He's never going to amount to much. He's chicken. And he's not very smart. You go ahead if you want to. You're a sucker. You let your eyes run away with your judgment. I'll, uh, I'll meet you at 5.30. Practice isn't over until six. She'll wait. Two smart guys are all alike. 
like I haven't got the heart for it. Why do you lay back like that? You always hold back. Don't coddle yourself, for Christ's sake. Hit the ground harder with your toes. Spring, boy, spring. All right, boys, come on, come on. I know it, Joel, baby. Come on. Come on. Ah. All right, Joel, put on a sweatshirt. I don't want you to catch cold. Ah, go fry your head. <laughs> Always trying to impress. Oh, wouldn't that ice cream be nice and cool, huh? I bet they have your favorite. Gold brick pie. Hey, Coach, you should get your favorite. Eat it all the time. Humble pie. <laughs> take a lap. He was only kidding. You take a lap, too! And the rest of you guys, come with me. Come on, let's go. Magic isn't watching. Come on. Hey, lie down, jerk. We'll see you. He don't have to worry. He loves some excuse to kick me off the team. Eh, magic takes everything too seriously. Yeah, older people sometimes do that. I got laid last night, Griffin. No kidding. Mm. It was disappointing. How? There was nothing special. You mean the books don't describe the It's way... not like that at all. Well... Is it just like when you fool around? Yeah. With bells. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, so maybe the girl didn't know how to do it. She was a grown woman. A fully grown woman. She knew what she was doing. <sighs> Listen. Would you mind telling me what you said to her? If I ever had the chance, I wouldn't know I what to say. I don't remember. We looked at each other, and she got all tearful and told me to take my clothes off. Student council. I was only thinking about it. To make people like you. God, that's lousy bourgeois cowardice. There are no other alternatives. We might run away. Hitchhike. Work in factories. Go to a whorehouse. We come from a doomed and dying culture. It certainly looks that way. But it's not as if we were insane or anything. Well, it wouldn't show yet. It's still in the latent stage. It'll come later, you'll see. After all, you're still living at home and you've got your half-ass charm. Charm? Me. I didn't say you were charming. I said you have a half-ass charm. You behave well in public, period. It's hopeless. God, do you really think so? It's my honest opinion. Nothing. I'm home, that's all. Better clean your shelves tonight. Tilly and I are going in there tomorrow with the vacuum cleaner and we'll throw out everything we find. Oh, great. How was track today? Fine. Did Mother tell you to clean up your room?
don't even have to iron it. But I wanted to wear those new ribbons. Dodie, you still can. They're perfect with this dress. I'm not going to look right. Yes, you will. Dodie, it's very important not to dance with too many boys. You're supposed to dance with people who dance. You wouldn't want to frighten off, Sonny. Well, <laughs> he'll be dancing too. He may prefer to save his card only for you. We don't have dance cards anymore, Mother. When a young man is serious about a girl, he does not like to see her being frivolous. I like to dance. There's nothing wrong with that. Please, don't be foolish. I just want to have a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing at all. I was just being helpful. You're not always practical. And your looks won't last forever, you know. Hi. Come on in. You're here to pick up my sister. I'm Sonny Brewster. She's almost ready, I think. Excuse me. You look beautiful. You look very nice. Thank you. Shall we go? Like it. Well, thank you. It was nice meeting you too. But with just one moment, I'll get her. Dodie, it's for you. It's Sunny. Good morning, Sunny. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. T Tuesday? That would be lovely. And Thursday? <laughs> Don't you think we should just wait and. All right, Thursday too. I'll see you Tuesday then. Bye bye. Preston, I'll get a date. It's Friday already. I know that. It's getting late. Hi, Joel. Hi, Dan. I'll get a date. And your father's car. All right. All right. Engaged. They've only gone out four or five times. Well, I don't care what people are saying. You know how I have to test Mother? gossip. Mother, he called me at work. He's coming at 6.30. I'll never be See, ready. I can't talk anymore now. If anyone has anything to say, you tell them to call me. Thank you. 6.30? You told me 7. He called me at work and said our reservations are for 7. Johnson said to me today? She said that Beryl Faringhouse, you know the real estate people? Beryl was heartbroken because she thought that Sonny was going to get engaged to her. What, dear? Beryl F Oh, it's beautiful. You just bought me a new dress last week. I know you can't afford it. A gift from Uncle Frank. What you asked him for? Well, oh. careful.
Thanks, honey. So how's track? Good. Have you picked out a college yet? I'm starting to. I think you ought to think about it very carefully. Oh, I will. I think Princeton is much more civilized than Yale. I didn't know that. Thanks. Ready. 6.30. You'll only know this afternoon. God, Preston, she's waiting for something better to come along. Call her now. Tommy Farwell's earlier. Another party. He's a swell guy. No, it's fine. Really, I don't mind. Yeah, I know. There's that, that new place. Let's just go, Sonny. their problems. <laughs> What's funny? Tell me. <laughs> no, I just remembered something. What? <laughs> In a home ec when Mrs. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. It was just so funny. Sylvia? I'm really glad we're out like this. Uh-huh. You're really pretty. Aren't you on the track team? We, we both are. Sylvia? You have remarkable hair. Really remarkable hair. What do you do? When? On the track team. Oh. I run. Is it hard? No. Actually, I'm sort of a natural athlete. What does he do? Who? Preston. What? Oh. He runs too. What are you talking about? The track team? The track team? I think it's sort of late. Could you take us home now? I have all these things I have to do right away in the morning tomorrow. She did ask you to call her. So what? All she does is talk. She's frigid or something. Thank you. 
six. Let's talk about it tomorrow. When would you like me to call? Whenever you'd like. You tell me. Decide. I can't. We have to decide about Eric's dinner Just party. Just call me tomorrow, Sadie, okay? Good night. I think I did hear her stirring, Sonny. I just let you go see. Oh, and give your lovely mother my regards. I had such a lovely chat yesterday with a friend of hers, Mrs. Arlington. Good morning, Sonny. I slept fine, thank you. Sonny. I don't think so, Sonny. Not today. Well, I just don't feel up to it. Oh, no, I'm not sick. I just... I'm glad you do, Sonny. But today I'd really rather stay home. Tuesday. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sonny. breakfast yet. Sonny's becoming very serious. He's so... He's not really very interesting. He certainly seems very fond of you. He's no fun. Careful, you're brushing too hard. He's a very intelligent boy. You're hurting me. He comes from a good family. I don't care. I don't want to waste myself on him. Waste yourself. He's the one who's throwing himself away. Who do you think we are anyway? We're nobodies. I'm pretty. The woods are full of pretty girls, and what's more, they're full of pretty rich girls. Sonny's a very nice boy. Leave me alone! Sonny's a jerk! He's a jerk! He's nice looking! What do you know about it? You're old, for God's sake! She's so foolish. Why do you get so upset about Dodie? She's so popular. You don't know anything about it. Dodie? What is it?
I think you should stop seeing Sonny for a while. Until you make up your mind. Tell him you need some time to think. He'll understand. He'll think you're grown up and responsible. I know you don't want to break his heart. dinner. Is there any lemonade left? Your posture is terrible. Where do you learn your manners? Sorry. I'll clean it up. Sometimes a zoot suitor or something. Zoot suits are stupid. Preston solved the problem for you as usual. He helps me. What's wrong with that? You're too lazy to do it on your own. It's homework, that's all. We always do it together. If I don't make a good marriage, you're gonna be in trouble. Don't help me, please! Please <laughs> don't help me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Sonny. Good to see you. He's back. I think your sister has found a boy she can respect. That's great, isn't it? They'll be very happy together. Great. she can respect. What does atmospheric pressure have to do with sight? It makes them more. Why, Preston? You see this tube? Pressure's in the tube. It makes no sense at all. I'll call you tonight. If it depends only on air pressure, Preston, how come one has to be lower than the other? I think Sonny is going to call. Oh, hold on a sec. What? Your sister's very nervous. I think they're getting to the point. I have to hang up. Hello? Oh, Sonny. I'd be so happy. I've been thinking about you, too. Tell him to come over. You know what I mean. Yes, tonight would be wonderful. Anytime. <laughs> no, anytime would be fine. Anytime at all. Eleanor? Oh, hi. Are you busy? Would you like to come out for a while and talk? I'm not in a good mood or anything. Neither am I. I just want to talk to somebody. Hmm. You want a cigarette? No, I'm in training. So how come you're in a bad mood? I don't know. I think I'm not basically a happy person. I mean, I always thought I was. People always expect you to be, especially if you're a girl. You may have noticed I look unusually plain tonight. I was trying to do my geometry and I couldn't do it. I felt so stupid. I cried. Well, that's why I look so awful. I think you look all right. I think you look fine. I don't like to hear you being so dissatisfied with yourself. You could undermine your self-confidence that way. I never noticed before. You're beautiful. You are. Wait. Don't like me yet. I have to tell you something first. It's about Joel. You don't have to tell me. I know you're going with him. I understand. Listen to me. I'm not going with him. He's... That's awful. Okay. But I don't care if you don't tell me. But I want to. 
It's just that I'm a little embarrassed, that's all. I'll be okay in a minute. You see, we went out Sunday night, and Joel talked me into having a beer, and then in his car, he... What kind of car does he have? A Buick. I'm just trying to get the picture. So what happened? Well, he... I felt his hand on my... Is that all? Well, I slapped his face. That's nothing. I mean, I didn't mean to. I mean, I sort of wanted to. No, oh, it's all so terrible. God, how I hate everything. Listen, Eleanor. You're all right. I've always liked you. I think you're wonderful. I think you're really something. You look down on me. I know you do. I can tell. Look down? How can I? How can I? Eleanor, I'm nobody. I've been damaged by my heredity. You too? Well, that's exactly what's wrong with me. Do you feel bad that we only started being friends tonight? I mean, do you feel like you're on the rebound and settling for second best? Well, I don't think so. Well, how about you? Oh, no, it doesn't bother me at all. Well, that's good. Well, I don't like geometry. And I don't see what use it is. Supposed to train your mind. But I don't believe it does. Some scrambled eggs, if you like. No, thanks. I don't feel like anything right now. Are you sure? I'm a good cook. I'll bet you are. I'd really like to try something you make. Later? Yes. I don't know why we get so nervous. It's not like we were doing anything wrong. It's the way they look at you. Yes, that's it. I think my parents are ashamed of me. Someday I'll show them. I'll do something wonderful and they'll be amazed.
Hello. Sonny proposed to your sister. They're going to be married in September. They went over the Brewsters to get the ring. He proposed practically the first thing when he came. Oh, they were so happy. They make such a lovely couple. If you could have seen them. Where are you going? To bed. What? I'm in training. I think you should wait up for your sister. I'll leave her a note. Ben? Ben? Are you awake? Yes. <clears throat> Where's mother? Downstairs. Sending telegrams. You want to see my ring? Mm. This is grandmother's. I don't really. Mm. You want to hear something awful? I don't really like my ring. Are you unhappy? Just upset. It's really scary getting married. You have no idea. I keep getting chills all night. I may get pneumonia. You have a cigarette? I'll go downstairs and get you one. No, no. There's some in my room. I'll get them. Sonny and I talked about you tonight. I'm gonna send you to college and everything. You worked it all out. He's so young. What if he's no good at business? You know what I mean? You don't have to marry him. Uh, you don't really understand. You're young yet. You know what he said to me tonight? How does this sound to you? Dear Greta, can you hear me? <laughs> I have to go. You go back to sleep. Sweet dreams. You too. Thanks. Too. I don't know why. I guess emotion makes people hungry. Oh, there you are. Greta is so touchy, I'm going to think some more and write the whole thing over. Are you eating at this time of night? <laughs> I'm hungry too. There's some soup. I'll heat it up. Isn't this wonderful? Aren't we happy? <laughs> yes. We want a big house. Have a pond. <laughs> For the goldfish. And a big veranda, remember? Oh, yes, remember? And that great big old Packard. Oh, yes. And I tried to drive it. The Packard. <laughs> you never introduced us to your Gloria. Gloria? <laughs> Mother and I snuck on the porch to try to get a peek. I was just a kid. And now you're grown, both of you. <laughs> College is going to be so wonderful. Yeah. It's really going to be great. Everything is. I know. People grow up and move away, but it's always so special when they come back together. There's always so much to talk about. It's going to be so nice. It's like the family's growing up. And you know what would be wonderful? When the Brewsters come over here. I can't wait to redecorate. Dodie, you'll love coming here, too. You both will. 
you'll, you'll both appreciate having a home you can always come back to.